a second year bespoke tailor. My first interest in tailoring was um, the fact I love making and I wanted something like a creative outlet that would allow me to do more making. I love the fact that there's um, a creative license in tailoring that allows you to create something um, unexpected and mess around with tradition a little bit. So the inspiration behind the garment was the fact that I think in the future we'll be looking back into the past to see how we live and dress. And I was really inspired by um, the Art Deco movement and the architecture behind that movement. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm a second year student at uh, Blondie College Fashion Study of Bespoke Tailoring. Uh, personally, what I love about tailoring the most is kind of, it's not like the norm, I kind of think, it's, like, it's not like a trend. It's kind of an ongoing thing. I think you don't have to like change it so much. It's kind of like little tweaks. You can have your standard garment and it's all made very similarly, but then you can like just mash it up with kind of like design and art. Hi, my name's Josh. Um, I'm a second year student at London College of Fashion and this is my outfit. The inspiration behind my designs was um, I wanted to merge uh, furniture and interior design with bespoke tailoring and I, I used like the chest, chestful sofa as an inspiration for like the back of my jacket. I kind of delve into the, uh, the fashion theory that a six year cycle um, that um, things, uh, well styles, colours, cuts kind of come back and that's what I did in my designs with like the wide shoulders, wider lapel and the mustard which was trending uh, earlier this year as well so it's quite on trend. <laughs> so uh, my name is William Chilito, uh, I'm from Sheffield and I'm a student at London College of Fashion studying bespoke tailoring. I like the more designing and seeing it come to life part the most. So taking something from like an initial idea from drawing on my iPad to a week later having a mock-up where it fits like a glove and I, I, like I can see a final, a final outcome come to life. So I wanted to mix tailoring with functionality and I looked at the outlaws and the uh, Hells Angels in the 1950s in America and how the jacket, biker jackets from then to now have literally stayed completely the same. The belts, the fastenings, the pockets, everything's been the same. So I wanted to mix the form of the tailored jacket with the functionality of a bike jacket, of how it's so functional. At the, at the start of last year, I wasn't too focused on the fabrics. I was like more of the techniques. But once I'd worked with nicer fabrics and 100% wool ones, I was like, why was I buying cheap ones? Because they're so much easier to work with, to press, to fit even onto a person. When, when they've got it on, it, I think it just looks completely different now and I kind of regret being a little bit skimpy last year and trying to spend my student learn elsewhere, <laughs> not on fabric. Hello, my name is Sung Yee Kim. I'm a second year student on Bespoke Italian course at London College of Fashion. For me, a technical tailoring skill is my first interest in tailoring. I like uh, hand stitching. Uh, even when I make a button by hand, uh, I really feel a sense of achievement. So my project is making reversible jacket. It, in other words, my customer will be able to wear a uh, two-in-one jacket and deal with abnormal weather in the future uh, related to global warming. Mm -hmm.